non-experimental design is a research method that examines relationships between variables without manipulating them. Unlike experimental design, which involves controlled conditions and interventions, non-experimental research focuses on observing and analysing data as it naturally occurs. This approach is often used in social sciences, psychology and healthcare, where manipulating variables may be impractical or unethical. Non-experimental studies can provide valuable insights into trends, behaviours and associations, but they do not establish direct cause and effect relationships. Instead, they help researchers understand patterns and correlations between different factors. Now let's look at the characteristics of non-experimental design. Non-experimental research has several defining characteristics. One key feature is that the researcher does not manipulate the independent variable meaning all observations are based on naturally occurring conditions. Another characteristic is that data collection can occur in real-world settings, making the findings more applicable to everyday life. Non-experimental studies often rely on surveys, interviews, case studies, or existing records rather than controlled experiments. Additionally, these studies frequently use correlation analysis to examine the strength and direction of relationships between variables, but they do not determine causation. Now let's explore some benefits of non-experimental design. Non-experimental research offers several advantages, especially when studying topics that cannot be tested in controlled environments. One major benefit is its ability to provide insight into real-world behaviours and conditions without interference. This makes it useful for studying long-term trends, historical events and social interactions. Another advantage is that non-experimental studies can be conducted more easily and with fewer resources compared to experimental research, making them more accessible for a wide range of topics. Additionally, this approach is valuable for ethical reasons, as it allows researchers to study sensitive subjects without directly influencing participants. Now let's consider some limitations of non-experimental design. One major limitation of non-experimental design is that it does not establish cause and effect relationships. Because variables are not controlled or manipulated, it is difficult to determine whether one factor directly influences another or if external factors are responsible for observed patterns. Another challenge is the potential for bias, especially in studies that rely on self-reported data, such as surveys and interviews. Additionally, Non-experimental research may be influenced by confounding variables, which are hidden factors that affect the relationship between the studied variables. Despite these challenges, non-experimental research remains an important method for gathering information in many fields. Now let's look at an alternative to non-experimental design. An alternative to non-experimental design is experimental research, which allows researchers to test cause and effect relationships by manipulating variables in controlled settings. Experimental design is particularly useful when a researcher wants to determine how one factor directly affects another. For example, in a laboratory study, scientists can control conditions and isolate variables to see their effects. While experimental research provides stronger evidence of causation, it is not always feasible, especially for studying complex social behaviours. Both experimental and non-experimental designs have their place in research, and the choice depends on the nature of the study and its objectives.